So I believe this screen should look exactly like what you would see. You're going to go to My DCC, Login, etc. This is actually in Blackboard, if you didn't understand that. Um, it's all framed in there. And they're going to be in a student tab because that's probably the only three tabs you have are student, my courses, community. You don't have these two unless you're maybe a student employee somewhere. What you want to do is you're going to access your email. At least this, I, this is how I find it to be the easiest way to get to where I'm trying to show you to go to install Excel and for that matter any other Microsoft 365 app that you want. And so uh, it opens up a new tab. It's going to Outlook via the web. It's the web version of Outlook. You're going to have your inbox. If you don't go to get your email that way, you're going to have to this time. And yes, I fuzzed all this out so you can't see what's going on in people's email addresses, etc. So you're going to follow my mouse over and you're going to click on that. And notice how you can choose any of these apps. And I know some of you have used Excel right here in the web, but the functionality in the web version of Excel is not as full and robust and there are things you can't do. I discovered that by working with somebody in class. But what you want to do is go to all apps and what it's going to do is open up these apps and others over into the main area of the web page. Oh, not yet. And then you want to, so you have all these options, bumped up, open a whole other bunch of them. But all the way down here in the bottom, is expl it says explore all apps. Now it opens a new tab and you should be presented with a whole bunch of stuff. Now what you want to do is install Office apps. This is going to install them on your local computer. Now I'm running a Mac, as you can see right down here, and it's going to install Office 2016 or other install options, install a different language, 64-bit version, blah, blah, blah. Now I already have um, Office installed, so I'm not going to continue with this, but this is where you go. You're going to hit Save File, and you're going to be patient. It's going to take a while because it's probably, if it's installing Microsoft Office, it's installing, installing Excel, Outlook, Word, um, PowerPoint, etc., and maybe a handful of other things. So that's what you're going to do if you're on a Mac. Well, I have used it since. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so if you're on a Windows machine, guess what? It's going to be the same thing. You're going to go here. I shouldn't say that. It's not going to be the same thing because you didn't watch the other one. Um, you're going to click the email uh, tab, and it's going to open up your email in the web version of Microsoft Outlook. And the performance is quite slow because I'm running this uh, on a Mac inside a... Um, I should hit don't show this again. Oh, well. And you're going to see that it's the same process. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to click on that. We're going to choose, but see how it looks different? You're going to choose um, one of these things. Wow. You're not going to choose any of those things. That's what we're looking for. I think still. What's going on? Ah, there it finally looked the same. So I'm going to hit all apps like we did. Well, again, you don't know. And you have all these apps that you can do. You can choose the to-do app, but you're going to explore all apps. And then you're going to draw big circles with the mouse exposure. And what you want to do is you want to install Office apps. So that's like uh, right down here if you're when it first comes up. But if you scroll up, you're going to hit that. And you can either choose 2016 or install other options. For instance, you have a, if you have a newer computer, you want to look at a 64-bit version. But either or, you're going to click on that. It's going to want to install, uh, download a .exe, see, .exe, which is a Windows version. And you're going to hit Save File. And then you're going to run the file. And you're going to install the applications. So it's installing a local installation of the applications on your computer um, instead of working through via the web. And that's it.